Congratulations. Apparently, you've just received your shipment of DVA's incredible Acromarvel acrylic polishing product. As you can see, while it is a product designed, among other things, to replace products like pumice, it doesn't look anything like pumice or like pumice substitutes. So we can begin our instruction for use orientation with the operating statement that while the use of Acromarvel is very simple, the techniques for its use are totally different than those used when working with pumice. Please begin your Acromarvel experience by forgetting every technique you may have used in using pumice. Let us explain. First, while we want you to use a new rag wheel when beginning our use of Acromarvel, do not cut any of the stitching from the polishing buff. We want firmness in our wheel, not flexibility. A second but very important deviation from normal pumicing techniques is the focus on removing scratches and polishing in one area or quadrant rather than working all areas at one time as we tend to do with pumice. The use of Acromarvel changes the approach to finishing and polishing from a multi-step process of pumicing, then pre-polishing, and then finally going to the high shine step. Acromarvel works in an entirely different manner. It converts all of those individual steps to one continuous and progressive action. Applying Acromarvel to a working area causes the area worked to simply progress from scratch removal to a lustrous high shine in one continuous operation. Therefore, it makes sense to work one single area or the quadrant until the scratches disappear and the area becomes totally polished to a high luster, generally without adding additional Acromarvel. So to review, simply load the buff with a quantity of Acromarvel and apply to one area until it is totally shined. Then move on to another area. Yes, that's right. Unlike pumicing, wherein you have to continually add pumice to the wheel, we only make a single application to the polishing buff and use it until any given area is polished. Note that Acromarvel will not fly away from the working area and therefore it does not need to be replenished. Actually, you should keep in mind that whenever additional material is added to the wheel, the polishing process is caused to start over in accomplishing its job. So just keep working the buff in one area until the scratches are removed and the surface becomes polished. If then, scratches remain after the area becomes polished, we can simply add a little more material to the wheel and rework the same area until those residual scratches are removed and the area is highly polished. Now that we know what type of polishing buff to use, which is a rather firm one, and we've seen how important it is to work only one area until the continuum process of finish to polish has been completed, Let's look at some additional hints, which will be helpful as you learn to use this wonderful product. First, let's appreciate that while Acromarvel is designed to provide an extremely high shine to your dentures, its use, when used as a final high shine material, totally eliminates the need to ever return to the pumice pan to eliminate any residual scratches discovered during your final high shine stage. That simple fact alone would seem to be enough benefit to justify the use of Acromarvel as your high shine product of choice if for no other reason. Now realizing that one of our final goals is to replace the use of pumice with a cleaner more simplified procedure we would highly recommend that you simply finalize your shaping and forming procedure by working your carbide or other instrument such that you complete your work with as smooth a surface on the appliance as possible. Remember, Acromarvel is designed to remove scratches, not reshape the denture. So after completely forming the appliance into its ideal shape, it might be helpful to use a silicone point 
to further polish or smooth the surface of the denture prior to going into the scratch removal and polishing phase. Any time invested in smoothing your acrylic will be more than returned in reducing any and all time spent in scratch removal and polishing. Once the denture or appliance is shaped and reasonably free of extreme scratches, it is important to note you can simply carry on working at your normal sit-down working area. Working in a totally dry atmosphere to progress through the scratch removal and high shine procedures using Acromarvel can totally eliminate the backup line at the polishing station. This can be a huge production advantage. As we've mentioned before, simply add a small amount of Acromarvel to the rotating polishing buff and begin working one particular area until it is highly shined. If scratches remained after the polishing state is obtained, simply add another small amount of Acromarvel and reapply until the denture is polished to its final desired presentation condition. Then move on to another area. It's that simple. As we work in a completely dry environment and at the normal finishing bench lathe, we can utilize any type of small polishing wheels or brushes we might desire to finish and high shine our buckle and labial segments. It simplifies the preservation of any special anatomy, characterizing effects, and the integrity of all gingival contours around the teeth. A big advantage. One note, if an abundance of white polishing material accumulates around the necks of the teeth, simply use a soft bristle brush at low speed to polish the material away. DVA also offers Acromarvel repair bits. These small bits of Acromarvel have been designed for use with individual repair or reline cases to address the cross-contamination issues inherent in traditional pumicing and finishing procedures. These repair bits have proven to be very helpful at simplifying the repair process, not only in the laboratory, but in the dental office as well. One tip to keep in mind, hold the small Acromarvel bit firmly while making certain it is pointed away from the patient or any auxiliary personnel while you're loading the brush. Well, we've tried to show you all of the small steps to success as well as the very important deviations from working in the traditional manner as with pumice. Acromarvel certainly is different, but it also offers benefits not offered by any other product. Before we close, let's quickly review those points we wanted to stress. First, forget what you have traditionally done with using pumice. Secondly, make certain you use a new polishing buff and don't remove any stitches from it. Thirdly, apply Acromarvel to your polishing buff and work only one area until it is completely polished. Do not add Acromarvel to the brush unless some scratches remain after the area has begun to become highly polished. Fourth, if your trimmed and formed appliance has large deep scratches or still needs to be reshaped, use a silicone point to provide a final smoothing surface prior to initiating your Acromarvel procedures. That's all you need to do to experience this new, simplified, and cleaner approach to finishing and polishing your removal appliances. And please remember, if you have any other questions or issues, we welcome an opportunity to be of assistance. We want to help. And also, simply call us to share your satisfaction with this innovative product. Many, many people already have. We look forward to hearing from you.